In today's Thirsty Thursday video, we are going to make something completely different, an amaretto sidecar. Welcome to Thirsty Thursday everyone, I'm Mark and this is the Average Meat Channel. Today we're going to make a sidecar, but we are not going to make it in the traditional way. Usually a sidecar uses cognac. And let's face it, unless it's 1927 and you're sitting at the club in a big leather arm back chair with a lion head to one side and a rhinoceros head to the other, and you have your pipe or cigar in one hand and you're telling lies about the war, it's about the only time you might be sipping a cognac. But today, most people don't drink cognac. You probably don't have cognac. So what we're going to do is switch out cognac for amaretto. So this is a pretty straightforward cocktail. It only has three ingredients. We're going to use amaretto. We're going to use Grand Marnier. Now you could use uh, triple sec. You could even probably use blue curacao for this. And then we're going to use some fresh lemon. Oh, and ice. You would think I would know by now. So this one is going to be really, really simple. Uh, but it doesn't mean it's not a good cocktail. So we're going to start by putting some ice in my Boston shaker. And last week, I used a real precise measuring device for the first time. I kind of like that. So I don't know if I'm going to stick with it. Uh, I mean, when I use the shot glass, or I use my jiggers, it turns out just fine. But for some of these drinks where we have, you know, a balance of these ingredients and they have to be pretty precise, I think I'm going to try to measure for a while. So we are going to start with two ounces of the amaretto. So obviously this is going to be really strong in the amaretto department. We're only going to use three quarters of an ounce of my Grand Marnier. And as I said, you can substitute for this if you would like. Grand Marnier is a tad bit expensive. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, Mark, why are you using that if you could use something cheaper like triple sec? And then you're not using a really top shelf amaretto. You know, we try different things and I try to cut corners where I safely can. I like to use the fresh fruit juices. Um, I like to use some top shelf stuff once in a while or upper middle shelf. Uh, so anyway, we're using the grand one today. And finally, we're going to use three quarters of an ounce of lemon. And I already had a half a lemon here from something else that I was making earlier today. So I'm going to use the remains of that. And I do have a second lemon here. Ooh, this is a juicy one. I took this one and I rolled it a little bit on tabletop. And boy, does that make the juicing easier. Look at all the seeds popped out of this too. So there is my three, actually it's a little more than three quarter. I might, yeah, a little bit. Here I talked about I want a measuring device so I'll be precise. And then I'm just shrugging it off when I go over on something. It wasn't much. Shake and see. You can't hang on to the shaker anymore. It's a long time for me. I come from Wisconsin. All right. Whew. That's pretty frothy. And if you have the ingredients right, don't be afraid to add a little extra ice. You know, ice is a part of the cocktail. 
And it's okay to have some ice. I know there are some bartenders that only want to put one ball of ice or one big chunk of ice. Um, I don't know. I, I feel okay with just having a lot of ice because I feel that's part of the drink. So here's the Amaretto Sidecar. I have to admit, I have never tasted this one before. So here we go. Wow. Um, this is very hard to describe. Very sweet, considering I didn't put in any, um, you know, simple syrup or anything like that. It's a very sweet drink. At the same time, you can taste the lemon. Of course, you can really taste that almond from the amaretto. I, I like it. Yeah, I could see sitting down and ordering this. Now, I know a lot of bartenders would probably look at you like you had a third eye, but this is a, a really tasty drink. Oh, you notice I did garnish it with an orange. Really simple. I hope you give this one a try. I enjoy it, and I'll probably have it again. I've been looking for cocktails to use my amaretto on. This one's a winner. So thanks for joining me, everybody. I hope to see you back here next Thursday for Thirsty Thursday. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking my face over there in the corner. And don't forget to ring that bell icon. That way you'll know when I post new videos. Thanks again. I'm Mark, and this is The Average Me Channel.